I am Game Guy. Man, it's just, just the it's just the LP that never dies. Uh, it's time for more Let's Play Dark Cloud 2. Finally. Uh, as we approach uh, the last bit of Zelmite Mines here, there's actually really not a ton left, all things considered. But um, as I recall, the monsters kind of start ramping up a little bit. Like, not a ton... But, you know, like, in case you want to, you know, buff up your weapons or whatever, I feel like we need to have one last invention session. <laughs> so, uh, in Chapter 8, uh, they obviously got rid of a whole bunch of shops. Uh, it's kind of rude, if I'm being honest. And uh, there's some decent weapons you can get there. But honestly, there's a lot of good stuff you can just make, actually. <laughs> Fire Squall, Tree, and Geyser. Whoa, man, you can make a golf club. It's the Albatross. Yeah, it works! I can't believe it. Albatross uh, has Cyclone and Beast for stats. Uh, this is probably the best weapon you can get for Beast, if that's what you're after. Um, doesn't cost that much to make, so it's not too bad. Uh, and uh, Cap on... Stats you can give it is 125 in case you wanted to know that way you just don't go over I'm not gonna like really look at the stats of these too much because it's not that important that I do it but you know Drum can power arm Paz nose That's a big ol' hammer. I remember that one Say cheese. It's not cheese max. Come on pay attention. Gosh how dare you? Heavy Hammer! Tons of Chill Smash and Exorcism. Easily the best you can get of all three of those. Um, and uh, 150 cap on their, what, their, uh, their various stats. You know, just, again, I'm pointing out the cap because just in case you go over by accident, you know. Uh, for the record, these can all be made at Chapter 5 thus far, if I haven't mentioned it. I, I didn't even look show what you needed to make for the heavy hammer, so here we go. Oh yeah, I already made the poison wrench. Uh yes, poison wrench. Deer horn, mushroom, sulfur colored juice is what you need to make this one. Uh it's got some good lightning, beast, and scale. The scale is a little weak. Uh lightning is probably the best you can get. This is probably the best weapon you can get for lightning. Uh, again, 125 cap on your stats, except for lightning, which actually caps at 130. So, uh, you know, in case you want. I think this comes with poison. I mean, it's in the name, so I'd be surprised if it didn't. So, you know. Figure Iron Maiden and Pasnos. Yo, that's a sword. Say cheese. I invented a sword. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I'm the best. Uh, Ruler Sword um, has some good Cyclone and Exorcism. Cyclone being probably the best Cyclone you can get on one of these weapons. 125 cap. Ah, yes, I already made the Soul Breaker. I saw that earlier. Uh, Soul Breaker. Uh, it's got Cyclone, Smash, Beast, and Scale. Uh, it's got some weak scale and a, generally a weaker spread uh, of stats. Also comes with the dark ability in case you are concerned with that. Uh, 125 cap. Uh, there's probably better stuff you can make than this, but I mean, if, if it's got what you want, then, you know, uh, it has the dark ability. That's probably the reason to make it realistically. So, you know. Can't make this one until chapter 7 because it has a flower chandelier. Also, Jurex nose and a rifle. Wall, man, gun. Yeah, it works. Shoot many grenade. Uh, yes. Twin Buster. Twin Buster. Twin Buster. Twin Buster. Comes with flame, cyclone, and smash. Probably the best weapon you can get for flame. Uh, 150 cap. Things get a little weird at this point. Book, fountain, and work crane. 
I made a laser gun, you can't stop me. Say cheese. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Uh, this weapon's pretty good. Uh, however, it requires a bandit coin. Um, if you have no honor and just want to, you know, cheese money with the lure rod glitch, I mean, this shouldn't be a problem in Chapter 8, but, you know, just putting it out there. Uh, you can make this as soon as Chapter 5 if you really wanted to. Uh, it's got a good spread of lightning, exorcism, and scale. Uh, it is tied with this next weapon for having the best scale. Unfortunately, uh, scale kind of gets the shaft on a lot of these for some reason. Uh, I believe I also... Yeah, I already made... Well, I didn't look at this, did I? No, I did look at this. That was the whole point of the conversation that I had done before. Gosh, man. Sexy Panther, also. You need a ruby. Same problem as before. Kind of requires money in Chapter 8. Or luck, I guess. But I don't know why you would use a ruby on this specifically. I guess you could. Honestly, gemstones aren't, like, that good compared to just synthesizing weapons so like it's probably worth it i don't know i forget what needs rubies anyway this has flame cyclone smash beast and scale <laughs> uh again tied for scale as best weapon with scale uh both of these weapons have really good spread but boy howdy quite the cost that's probably why it have to, has quite the cost honestly uh i want to mention real quick uh in some shops you can get a wildcat in Gerald's shop. It's coming with flame, cyclone, smash, and scale. It's got a decent spread, a 110 cap. And uh, Pakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
I keep forgetting that attack is, like, omega level hyper delayed. Also, this is a bad situation right here. <laughs> let's, um... Let's, let's, let's heal, probably. I wasn't gonna, but Monica just had to go and die. Like some stupid, dumb idiot. Why is that so delayed? I hate these guys. The, the delay on that is ruthless. Because <laughs> I see the like visual effect from their mouths, but the fireball shows up like a second later. I'm just never ready for it. It's wild. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I guess since I have it at the moment, let's see what the albatross is like. Have I used, like, higher tier Sphita clubs yet? I do not recall, if I'm honest, but, you know, I got two shots, and this should be relatively easy. Just relatively easy. Look at that dang spot to stop it at. You're gonna have a bad day if you think this is a good speed of club. <laughs> like, it just... Well, I mean, I got it, but, you know. Its launch distance is freaking massive, though. Alright, well, I mean, I got it, like, right there. If I could ever turn the camera in a decent fashion of some description. Max, please, just... Please just hit the ball. Please, just just hit the ball, please. Oh, thank you. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna... I mean, I'm still gonna get it because I'm just that close, but yeah. If you ever wanted to play Sfida hard mode... <laughs> that's just what this is. You basically never need such high launch distance. I don't really understand the appeal, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna spectrumize it onto my gun. Actually, I got two things I'm putting on this gun, because uh, they're kind of split across uh, multiple things, which, you know, fine, whatever. <laughs> Let's go ahead and upgrade the gun with the power of golf and grenades. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Reaching stat cap on a few things here, but, you know, mostly it's just... Getting those stats up is important in some capacity. Really, I only went with the Supernova first because uh, this thing is blatantly overpowered. I mentioned this before, probably. <laughs> so, you know. Oh man, I just noticed we're at day 200. Wow! <laughs> I don't remember if the days actually have a cap. It probably caps at 999, but I don't know if it goes to four digits. There's enough space there for it to do that, but I don't know if it does. I mean, the day doesn't matter. That's pretty much just a weird way to show playtime, I guess. Bro, what have they done to you? Oh, I'm so sorry. I gotta shoot you now, though. It's truly tragic. Man, I should have just used the swords. That was way easier. <laughs> I like how I'm just unironically using the multi legs now. It's the best. Got two things for the sword to eat. Let's give it some stuff. Yeah. Buff up those stats. Uh, the maximum on these is somewhat weird. Like, some of them go up to 222. Not 22, but 20. Like, 220? Yes. Others go to 200. Um, so, you know, that's just a thing to note. Some of them aren't always completely consistent. Uh, next, I guess. <laughs> Why did you get unstunned so quick? Jeez, dude. Uh, 
have any resurrection powder, do I? Well, that'd be fun if I did. I don't know why I don't. Probably used it for something stupid. Oh, the sword's better. Now that this is how I wanted to uh, showcase that, I guess. <laughs> Oi. This is annoying, because, like, I wasn't quite done getting weapons ready, so, you know. It's just these uh, elementals, dude. They just, they clap you to death. No remorse, these guys. I have never cared for these enemies. Literally ever. You just, you, you botch it up once and you're dead. I mean, I'm glad I saved before this, but dang, man, whatever. I, I wanted Max alive anyway, because I want to do speed on this floor, actually. There, I made resurrection powder. Try and kill me now. I mean, they'll succeed, but... <laughs> you know. Cool. Maxed out both the weapons to five. Now I can just supernova everything, and this is just kind of trivial now. <laughs> yeah, just don't attack these guys physically, and honestly, it's a good time. Well, not so much physically as it is, like, melee. I don't know. Gun's just faster, though, man. Like, cause you get problems with your swing that came out on accident somehow, because I let go of the button, I guess. You just can't guard, which is apparently an issue for me. At least this time I RNG'd a healing pond into existence. Which I forgot I already used, so I guess I'm gonna wait a hot second. You know, it's really such a shame that, uh, you just kinda have to use the supernova at this point. Like, the other two gun types are just not as worth it. You might find some use for the bazooka, but, like, the machine gun is just hilariously outclassed by the other two. It's really unfortunate, because I like the machine gun a lot, but... You know, uh, that is what it is. I said I was going to do Svita, and I'm going to do Svita. Um, so... Svita. <laughs> I mean, what else do you want me to say? I'm just... I'm just uh, this is an awkward shot, man. It's like, there's just that, that, that gap going on over there. It's just awkward. I don't know if this is even going to be a good shot or not. I just kind of did it. And it was good enough, I guess, to kind of weave my way through the things. Am I just talking through this Speeda game? I guess I am. That does not feel like a comfortable shot, but I'm going to try it anyway, apparently. That might not have been enough power. But we'll see. It was not. I didn't make it over the little rock. I'm instead embedded in the floor, but, you know, whatever. I, it's fine. I just need to get around the corner. Who even cares? Um, I don't, like, I don't know. I It's been a hot minute since I played, so obviously my knowledge on what shots are good or not is going to be a little bit rusty, let's say. But I mean, this is fairly simple, kind of. I, um, I don't know where this is going to bounce to is kind of the unfortunate thing. Could bounce somewhere good. I probably did not even need remotely close to that much power, but I did it anyway. You know what? It's fine. We take those, I guess. I'm the wrong color. But you know what? It's, it's whatever. Um... Well, I got two shots. I mean, the reality is I can try for a pop fly. I don't think there's a ceiling here. I don't know if that's too much. It might. It is actually too much. 
But at least I am the correct color this time, so it's just a matter of abusing the move so that I might win. Winning is easy when you can cheat. <laughs> it's just it's just the reality. Alright, so really, I didn't need to do Svita on here too much, but I wanted to do it anyway, because, I don't know, it's relevant to a thing in the not-too-distant future. I got it myself another diamond. I mean, money's no object, but, you know, save me some time mashing a button to do the lure rod glitch, I guess. I mean, plus, you know, I get a medal. I guess that's important, if that's a thing you care about. Putting things on the armlet, because honestly the armlet is, uh... Not doing the best work that possibly could. It's kind of unfortunate, because, um, armlet's attack can go pretty high, actually. So, uh, I should probably, you know, work on that somewhat. Probably, maybe? Just, you know, a thought. <laughs> How come all these weapons get two things, but Max's wrench only gets one? Well, honestly, Max's wrench is, like, pretty stacked already, so, like, it just didn't need it. It really only needs flame at this point. I mean, yeah, it needs chill, but still. Uh, next, I guess? I don't know. Wait, how did I do that? Is that a thing I can do? Hold, hold, hold on a minute. I, I've learned a thing, apparently. Um, I have like a move that I can do. This is like a terrible enemy to try this with. You wanna like, thank you. you wanna not be weird, camera? Okay, so after the second swing, if you're holding for like if you start holding forward, Max does like a really quick uh, final strike. That's kind of sick, and I don't think I ever actually knew that. Is that just any wrench? Yeah, that's just your normal attack string. Yeah, okay, that's weird. Okay, actually, you only need to hold forward after the first swing, because if you hold forward... Well, no, hold on. If you... If I'm just holding forward the whole time... Yeah, no, okay, it just... It does a quicker swing set. If you're just holding forward... Well, I mean, the thing that... The trick you gotta be careful of is if you're holding forward when you start your swing, uh, you'll do a lunge attack. Like that, you know, and usually the lunge attack is not the best. Unless the enemy is, like, airborne, I guess. Wow, okay, this kind of changes a few things, because uh, that'll stagger dudes a lot easier than waiting for your entire string of attacks to finish. This game has a weirdly large amount of combat depth. I don't know if this is effective on, like, um, the mallets. They might be. That is kind of cool, actually. <laughs> well, good thing to know this, uh, you know, now that we're in, you know, literal endgame. I'm curious now, do you have, like, a quicker attack strike? Yes, you do, actually. I wonder if Monica's sword does. Gosh, that's so quick. Also, my poison wrench is plus five, uh, plus six now on accident. So, oops. <laughs> I was so distracted by new discoveries, I just, I didn't know what to do. Of course, Monica's gonna be a, a lot harder to actually check, because uh, she's got, you know, multiple things. Dude, look at that thing. Okay, I'm just going to assume every every weapon has, like, a 
quick attack sort of thing going on. If you just start holding forward. That's like really cool and I don't think I ever knew that that existed. Yeah, Mr. Watch, you, you're here to help me learn about things, apparently. <laughs> if only I could do something about the kick. Because I still don't like the kick. Gosh, that hammer attack is so quick. Now I'm starting to understand why people like the hammer, jeez. Yeah, like, just for comparison's sake, I mean, look how slow that last strike is. And, like, freaking third strike just comes out so quick in comparison. I mean, okay, it's not, like, that quick, but, like, you get to your stagger uh, attack a whole lot quicker. <laughs> I mean, assuming they don't just get, you know, stopped, I guess. I suppose I should see what uh, this looks like. Ooh. A little bit slow, but uh, could be worse. I actually probably didn't want to switch to Monica. Well, switch to Max. Oh, hey, I have Ice Element now. Chill out, whatever you are. I can't pronounce your name. I'm not even gonna try. Yeah, so because I accidentally put this up to plus six, uh, it's gonna actually need six synthesis points. Not that that matters too much, but you know. Because obviously I get a little bit more out of it. Not really a lot, but you, you know what I mean. It's really not worth going above five, essentially. But. Yeah, no. This one, like, kind of very nearly maxed out on everything, except, well, actually attacks pretty close, too. Because I think it caps at, uh, well, it's 312, apparently. That's weird. But, yeah, Bazooka's better, I guess. Near max capacity. So it should be good. Too bad Supernova exists. <laughs> Oh gosh, okay, sure, that does damage. So, like, I'm sitting here spectrumizing this stuff, and I had a rare instance of I wanted to actually put power crystals on the heavy hammer here, because I think I'm gonna cap out everything else. So, like, there's no point in putting synthesis points on anything else as a result, so, uh, you know, just kind of casually maxing this out. Well, the heavy hammer, anyway. Because, yeah, uh, 250 is the cap for all of them, except for attack, which goes up to, like, 500 or something stupid, but, eh, you know, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, well, now that I've completed the back loop, I guess I can go, uh, you know, actually do this level now, because... why not? <laughs> So actually, while this uh, particular level is going, uh, I do want to, for the heck of it, uh, be sad that I wanted to play as Monica on this floor, uh, and I basically can't because this is where all the big boys hang out, so oopsie doodle, playing is right. <laughs> uh, I wanted to talk about um, Dark Cloud 1, you know, the first game. Uh, I played that game a lot. You know, I, I've mentioned my history and whatnot, and, like... Uh, what am I trying to say here? I don't know, man. Words are extremely difficult, turns out. So, um, it was one of the first three PS4 games. PS4? No. What? PS2. I got Ratchet and Clank, I got uh, Jack and Daxter, and then I got Dark Cloud 1. Now, I've spoken very highly of those first two games, but not so much Dark Cloud 1. Rather the opposite, actually. Um, so that game, 
fundamentally is very similar to this one. Um, you know, you just you just run around dungeons, you you open treasure chests, you beat up monsters. It's it's a fun time. This floor is awful. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed. Um, I think the problem with that game, beyond like the durability thing, because I'll get to that in a minute. Don't worry. Is uh, the game is stretched about six different party members. I mean, I'm gonna kind of go into probably spoilers. I don't know how much, but I'm not gonna like blatantly spoil everything, if you know what I mean. So yeah, uh, you kind of end up with six party members, including the main guy, obviously. But like, you know, just just putting that out there and such. And as a result, you end up having what is essentially six weapons instead of, you know, this game having what is basically four. Like, do Ride Pod and Monster Transform count? I guess technically they do, but they function so differently from the main weapons. I don't know how much it counts, if I'm honest. And boy howdy, said weapons. Uh, they take forever to level up in that game. Nice, healing pond, thank goodness. Like, you know how quick they level up in this game? Honestly, they probably level up too quick in this game, if I'm being completely, perfectly honest here, but... Um... The, uh, the, the, the level... Like, you can probably build up, like, your first sword... Maybe, like, once or twice before the first dungeon is done, if you're, like, really super efficient. But, uh, honestly, like, beyond that, good luck, because I feel like everything takes forever to get to. I mean, like, the weapon trees aren't particularly large, so, like, there is that, at least. I don't know, it's just, it's one of those things. Uh, I do like the game. I want to stress that at some point here, because, like, I don't think it's as bad as I keep making it sound like it is. But, like, it's just its one of those things. It comes with a bunch of, like, little nuances that I think kind of sour the experience for, you know, me and a lot of people. Just in hindsight, because, again, I should say, I played the game a lot. You know, when it was n not this one, this one didn't exist. Uh, so, you know. Uh, it's just, it's real unfortunate. You know, and then the weapon breaking thing, I guess I should mention too. Uh, so, you know how the weapon durability works in this game, right? Yeah, okay, so imagine that, but when it hits zero, instead of losing experience, the weapon is deleted from your inventory forever. Like, it is such a... I don't understand the idea of such a mechanic, because, like... So let's example Pikmin Pikmin game like you know you have like a big Pikmin wipe or whatever and you decide okay well I'm just gonna deal with the consequences of my actions and you know go from there and like that's fine because usually you can recover but like the amount of time that goes in to actually like Dealing with the weapon build-up system in the first game is absolutely massive. If you lose your weapon, like, you're just, you're just screwed, essentially. You have to, like, if you were to not just save scum your way through everything, you would literally have to go back and just more or less replay the entire game. Because, like, what else are you going to do? You know, you can't... Because the game, of course, has, like, the seal floors where you're forced to play as, like, a specific character or whatever. And there's several of those in, like, Endgame. So, you know, good luck with that. Um, so, yeah. It's just kind of a... I don't understand the logic in making that a mechanic, you know? It just feels super weird to me. Because that's the thing, all it's going to do is it's going to promote people, like, save scumming. Like, you save before each floor, and then you reload if your weapon breaks, because why would you go through that hassle? There's no reason to. Like, you just, you lose so much time to doing that, that it's just not even remotely worth it. I mean, I'm sure some people probably didn't think of saving, 
Like, if some kid got the game or whatever and just wasn't really thinking about it too hard. You know, that, that sort of thing. And boy howdy, I'd hate to be that kid. <laughs> it's just the worst. I will say, uh, to give it positive points, I like the story. The uh, story's neat, you know, it's just this kid who lives in this, uh, this small village or whatever, and, uh, you know, he just get, it gets destroyed and he has to go save the world. It's, it's a fun time, you know, just, it's a fun time. Uh, Giorama's in the game. Honestly, there's parts of Giorama I like in that game versus this game. Like, this game gives you almost total freedom when it comes to Giorama, and that's cool. But, like, it kind of leads to, like, you notice when I'm playing this game, I just did, like, a Giorama thing that was, like, bare minimum. Because I can't be hassled to, like, actually, I don't know, do something, uh, like, that looks normal, let's say. I don't know. But yeah, uh, it's just a game about a guy who has to fight this uh, giant genie creature or whatever. You know, and there's, there's plot twists and all that. It's just it's a fun time. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of not even trying to fight this dragon for some reason. <laughs> kind of surprised you get staggered, sir. Also, you, you almost harmed me in some unfortunate way. I'm going to throw a rock at Bone King. I feel like the party members are alright. Like, there's a few of them. They're just kind of there. <laughs> Honestly, like, most of them actually are just kind of there. Like, they don't get a lot of time to be developed. Like, you'll have segments throughout whatever chapter they show up in, and they just kind of are in your party, and that's it but for the rest of the game. Which, I mean, you know, it's fine. To be fair, Monica doesn't really get a ton of character development, neither really does Max, let's be honest here. This game, this game's story is weird, in the sense that, like, it's okay, it just doesn't, it, like, it gets the job done. It's like a Mario story, almost, I guess, I don't know, you know what I mean by that? I'm not saying it's bad, it's more just, like, it's, it gets the job done, and that's all it needs to do. It's just, it's one of those things. Uh, I like the dungeons in Dark Cloud 1 a lot. I feel like the dungeon themes in this game leave a lot to be desired in some capacity. Because, like, you recall, you know, you got the sewers. Sewers, it's whatever. It's the first dungeon. I mean, it's, a, it's an interesting theme for a dungeon. You know, and then you go to the forest. Forest is interesting because it's, you know, it's spread out a whole lot more than the sewers, so it's could be interesting and you get stuff like the canyon and like canyon's cool because it's got a unique dungeon layout and then you get you know the ocean which you can go to like the beach and it's interesting after that uh you're in what is basically a glorified cave and all of the dungeon floors start to kind of look the same like as far as layout is concerned like you know what i mean like because the canyon was split in a specific layout. You have the the, uh, the beach, it's also split, you know, beach and cave, you know, at least when it does that. I don't know, it's just, it's weird that this game doesn't go for more of that, if I'm honest. But, you know, it's just how it be. I got Ruby, I can make uh, that one gun I forget the name of somehow already. Anyway, that was the white seal floor. It just kind of existed, I guess. I mean, to be fair, there's some pretty rough enemies in here. I was going to play as Monica, but then it's like, man, there's freaking robots and dragons. I mean, Monica can probably deal with the dragons, but not not the robots. I ain't trying that. <laughs> I've had too many bad days. I've had too many bad days. But, I, don't know, I just wanted to talk briefly about Dark Cloud 1. Uh, as far as it's post-game, it gets like an entire hundred floor dungeon. It's it's wild. <laughs> like, oh, but good luck playing it, man. Because I think the other half of the problem with durability in that game is enemies just eat up your weapons. Like, a single hit with a melee weapon in endgame takes like seven WHP. And you still only have like maybe a maximum of uh, like a hundred. So, you know... <laughs> 
ranged attackers kind of win in that game. I think most, like, if, the, if there's any, like, speed runs of the game, they just kind of switch to the second party member almost immediately for, like, most of the time, because freaking, you just, it's just a range attack. Anyway, I, I don't know. There's only so much I can say, I guess. This is a finny frenzy. I should probably do something about that, I guess. Can I move closer? I guess not. <laughs> Alright, fine, Mr. Watch. I'll stop talking. Just because you said so. Ever since I replaced your battery, you've been getting real sassy. Alright, one last time. Let's talk about Finny Frenzy, because I've got some things to say, as it turns out. Uh, sorry. There's various prizes you can get from this. Most of them are just kind of, eh, whatever. Like, oh boy, a sunstone. What am I going to do with that at this point? Who cares? I just want to win because, I mean, first of all, I never have. Man, check out. It's Brisclean BB. I maxed out stamina boost and endurance. So, uh, if I don't win, I don't know how. <laughs> it's just one of those things. Um, I'm gonna keep a steady pace for the moment. We'll see what happens. It's fine. So how did I get maximum stats, you may be wondering. It's fine. So, I've seen various guides throughout the internet. My fish is ex still extremely small. I think the only way you can get bigger sizes is to literally catch bigger fish, and I just didn't. So, you know, whatever. So, here's the thing. Various guides I've been reading tell you to just catch a bunch of fish and then, like, breed them together constantly to get more stats, and that- that works! Sure. It feels very slow, because you have to just constantly catch fish, obviously, so, like, you know, I mean, if you're grinding out your- your fishing pole, then sure, it's fine. Even then, like, it just doesn't feel like it gains that much, because I did it for a while. And the fish I had was, you know, pretty strong, obviously, but, like, you know, and I'm just like, how do I... How do I speed this up or make this easier? Turns out, uh, you can feed fish and they gain stats, which is something, you know, you do if you want to breed them, because they gotta be fed, like, five times to be able to be bred. Um, they are allowed to be fed every two minutes in real time, even if you're sitting there in the tank, just watching them. So, what you can essentially do, uh, you can probably abuse the lure rod glitch if you're worried about money, and then just go buy all of the bait that you could ever want, and then just keep tossing it in every two minutes. Like, you know, just have it on in the background, you know, occasionally, just hit a few buttons, drop a, like, a carrot or whatever into the water, and, uh, enjoy. <laughs> just, it's one of those things that I just have decided to do. It really didn't, I mean, it took a while, obviously, but, like, I'm doing other things, so it doesn't feel like it took a while. So, you know, that's what I did. Uh, friendly reminder, uh, if you try at any point to give any more stats to a particular thing, over 100, uh, the game will freeze. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why the game developers left a bug like that in or whatever and just, you know, didn't think people would want to, like, min-max or whatever. Those fish are just swimming through each other. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's perfectly natural. Alright, so I wasn't as far ahead as I would have liked to be in that one, so I'm going to try all your might. Probably. Yeah, all your might. It's fine. Yeah, the real prize is to aim for the top. It's true, actually. It's 100% true. You probably don't need max stats to do this. And like, obviously, I didn't bother with like tenacity. I think it was tenacity. Mostly because that has to do with fighting, and ideally, if I'm staying as far ahead as possible, I'm not gonna get into any fights anyway. So like, not much of a point, really. Well, I'm starting behind, so I'm kind of glad I uh, went all your might to see if I can't actually win it. I don't know. I might not get first. It's fine. I can just try again in the future, I guess. I think I'm catching... It's hard to tell with all these camera angles if I'm actually catching up, but I think I am. 
I mean, I got max stamina, so all your might shouldn't be a problem. Because that's the one where, like, you use up, like, all your stamina as fast as possible. Man, this is neck and neck, actually. It's pretty exciting. I could, in fact, not get first. I didn't, actually. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> but I got second. I mean, that's cool. Like, that's the thing, though. There's some RNG to this, I think. Because I don't know if the fish that you race are always the same. I'm not sure how that works, if I'm honest. So it's just something I'm gonna have to try again, I guess. It's fine. I lost by, like, freaking... Uh, is that a millisecond? Oh, hey, a moonstone. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. I did it. I forget. Can I just go again? I don't remember how this works. Can I... Oh, okay, I can't. I would need another fish. It's fine. I'm not mad. You're mad. Oh, yeah, also I should probably mention, you can't have stats over 400, like, total. Grand total of all stats. Just, you know, in case you forgot. I don't know if the game stops you or if it, free or if it freezes. <laughs> it's one of those. Yeah, so I, uh, I reloaded the game, and I actually did worse. <laughs> Somehow. This might be a, a bit of a thing, apparently. You know, I've read guides that basically say you should win by a country mile. I, I, I'm clearly not. <laughs> not yet is a good name. Dang it, Donnie. I don't want your stupid diamond. I'm reloading reality. Oh, fart. I. Mm, well. Okay, I, I accidentally picked steady pace, and I just, I'm winning, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> I'm wondering if, again, I do wonder if there's some RNG involved, because, like, dude. I think I just ended up racing a bunch of, like, real fast fish, or aggressive fish, as the case may be. I don't know, because... I mentioned, like, the whole strength issue, like, if I'm stuck in just the middle of all the fish and they're constantly beating me up, I'm gonna lose speed. I mean, even though I can take it because I got maxed out, you know, endurance or stamina or whatever stat that is, I don't remember. I was also wondering if, like, bad loser as a mood was gonna be a problem. I have no idea what the moods actually do. <laughs> But yeah, I got, you get a trophy for winning Master, which is pretty much the only reason I wanted to do it, so, you know. <laughs> Hooray! I got a Sunstone, except I'm not gonna keep it, because in this reality, uh... It, it, well, in the main reality, I didn't win, so, you know. I got my dang stupid Moonstone, but I, I keep trophies across all realities, so it's fine. <laughs> it's all that matters. Brisk Clean BB is a winner in my heart. It happened in some reality. Big ol' spinny sword, finally getting some much needed love after a billion years. It hasn't been a billion years at all, but it's funnier and more dramatic to say that, you know what I mean? It's just, it's one of those things. Getting some good food. All right, better stats. It still needs more chill, which is, you know, unfortunate, but, you know, getting there. <laughs> It needs a lot, actually. I don't know why the stats on that sword are just not as up to snuff as everything else. He attacks over 300 now, though, so that's exciting. So did I get all of the major weapons other than, I think, gun is the last one that needs, like, anything? Sadly, the last one was the first one, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's tragic. 
I mentioned several times, I like the machine gun, but it's just super outclassed by everything. <laughs> it's very frustrating to me. Well, I may as well just do it. I've gone this far. Hey, so remember Monster Transform? And how, um, let's see, how, how, I, first of all, I didn't actually mean to transform. Haha, <laughs> funny. Yeah, remember Monster Transform and how, um, I just never acknowledged this elephant in the room of a missing badge here? Just probably, uh, just probably fix that. <laughs> Alright, okay, so, you can get this as early as Chapter 7, for the record. Uh, Gift Capsule, how do I use you again? I do not remember. Uh, point is, you need three diamonds in your gift capsule, by the way. Uh, so, I hope you saved beforehand, just in case of a tragedy of some kind. Ow. Yeah, the diamond card. Uh, you can kill it and get some cool stuff, probably. Uh, please be dead, sir. I need you to die yesterday. I've given you three diamonds for no reason at all. The only reason I did this, actually, is because I get a trophy for it. I, no other reason. <laughs> so yeah, you can transform into the card creatures. They are just as bad as the rest of the monsters. You should still just use the Gemron. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> just throw three diamonds at the diamond. Just do it. It's easy. Finally, Gun can get some much needed love. Mr. Watch is excited as I am. Whoa. I'm I'm very excited, honestly. I'm, just, I'm always excited about Gun. Gun is my friend, man. Just straight up. Darn near almost capping out everything. Actually. <laughs> I mean I don't know about attack, but you know, it's fine. So yeah, um, that's basically it for the arsenal. Like, I'm missing a few stats here and there, uh, other than attack, but, uh, you know, everything else, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Island King could probably use another weapon, though, but that's kind of like the only one. So I'll probably do that at some point. You might be wondering how to go about getting the attack stat, and yes, it would be way more efficient to uh, just keep spectrumizing weapons on them. But I've got endless money. I could use power crystals to cap things off. I mean, look how many synthesis points I have. Does it even matter at this point? No. <laughs> just uh, wild. Actually, this is probably as good a time as any to use these gemstones, actually. To just kind of patch up the little holes in my arsenal here. Especially since that gives attack anyway. Oh, you probably want an, uh, a weapon also, thinking about it. You know, I got all these Moonstones, and Supernova could use a fair amount of chill. That's probably not a bad idea, actually. I mean, look at this. This is nonsense. I'm not using it for anything else. Hey, Supernova. Get Max the heck out. <laughs> yeah, so it goes all the way up to 500. I know I've mentioned this before, but here we are. <laughs> I think Monica's weapon, uh, this sword, also maxed out. Only at 300, although some stats go up to 220. Uh, you know, the rest of them, 200. Max out that wrench, Max! Yeah, buddy. Only need a little bit to top off gun. Never mind, it goes... What? What is it? What does it go to? What? <laughs> Oh, it actually just goes to 301. That's weird, but all right, sure. <laughs> Silly me.
Upgrade the bazooka. It goes up to 312 for some reason. Oh no, I'm running low on money. Whatever will I do? I need some, uh, some big numbers for a certain mallet with a face. Turns out. <laughs> But you know what, it's fine, because Mallet with a Face becomes the strong... The very strong... Yeah. Yeah, so all that's left is uh, the Island King, which, I mean, I could max out its attack. There's no reason I can't, but I need to put, like, another weapon on it, probably, because all of these elements need to go up to, like, 250. So, I probably am going to want another weapon for that. Uh, that and her armlet. Kind of the same issue, but it's only flame and lightning need to going up to 300. So, you know, just a little bit more, I guess. Everything else is capped. Feels good. No, I'm really glad you did the backflip. That's exactly what I wanted you to do, Monica. Just 100% exactly what I wanted you to do. Have I mentioned I don't like the backflip? It's bad. Every time. Big number two, the armlet. Sick, nasty, max stats. Aw, oh, yeah. Didn't even need Lynn after all. That's not true. She was helpful in the beginning. It's whatever. <laughs> and there it is. All weapons in my possession capped off. Feels good. <laughs> now it's time to beat everything up forever. Also, I literally don't need these crystals anymore, so, you know, that's fun. Alright, so there's only two floors left. Um, that's cool and all. I have one other topic to discover. Discover? Discuss. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> so, yeah. Remember how this is the PS4 version of the game? So there's trophies. And I don't want to go over those real quick. Alright, first of all, uh, let's just get through the obvious ones real quick. There's a platinum for getting everything. Who would have guessed? Uh, there's a trophy for getting through the prologue and one for each and every chapter in the game as soon as you complete it. Uh, there's a trophy when you complete a weapon synthesis, when you invent something, when you use monster transformation, when you breed a pair of fish, when you win a game of Speeda, when you upgrade the ride pod with Cedric, when you recruit a side character, and when you use a name change ticket. There's also one when you defeat 200 enemies without dying, which you'll probably just get throughout the course of the game anyway. So, uh, you know, those are the basic ones anyway. Just get those out of the way. There's another one for recruiting all of the side characters, which, you know, obviously something I've long since done. Where's this notebook? Dang it. Yeah, so, like, you know, you got all these sweet characters to deal with and all that, you know. Uh, there's another one for getting the Master Grade Core for the Ride Pod. Uh, also kind of easy enough. Uh, there's one I do not have, actually, because... <laughs> Remember Monster Transformation? <laughs> you gotta get it to its final evolution, which is at level 76. Uh, final Floor of Zelmite Mines has the absolute 100% most experience you are ever going to get, and since you never need Monster Transform for a medal in Chapter 8, it may as well wait until you get there, I guess. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, there's another one for Max here, if I actually don't have the camera equipped. I kind of forgot, that's just a thing I did. <laughs> It's just unequip the camera, because it doesn't do anything for me anymore. Uh, let's see, confirm. Alright, you see how I've got a level 8 there? Um, 
you gotta get to level 8, which means you need a score of 700. Uh, ideas are worth 2, and scoops are worth 5. I think there's like a hundred... hundred... There's like 750 points in the game, I think? It doesn't sound right. Because I'm missing like three photos, spoiler alert. So like... Actually, you can kind of check if you just scroll down to the bottom. No, I'm missing two. Alright, well, you know. <laughs> just... Neither of them are a scoop, so it should be like 7.42. Unless I pulled some photos from the album, which I might have done, because the score only counts if you actually take a picture of it. I might have pulled some stuff from the album at some point. I don't know. I, Mr. Watch doesn't know either. It's fine. Gosh, the way I'm cutting this video, Mr. Watch probably just kind of happened twice. <laughs> Just pretty quick succession, all things considered. Uh, Alright. Uh, there's another one for finishing all of the Georama areas, 100%. In case you were wondering, uh, as we had noted earlier, uh, there is an achievement for creating both the Legend and the Supernova, as well as both the Island King and the Five Star Armlet. So, you know, just make those and you're good. Uh, another one. Invent every possible thing. <laughs> There's 129 of these, apparently. So, I don't know, if I do anything in editing, I'm just gonna flash all the recipes on screen, because I'm not gonna go through all that. Most of them aren't even worth making, so, you know, <laughs> just put that out there. Uh, naturally, there is one for getting every single medal in the game. I forget how many there are. It's like 400 something, I think. I don't I don't remember. It doesn't matter. As long as you get all the medals from chapter 7 before it just explodes and is gone from reality forever, uh, you're good. <laughs> That's why I did that. Because then I can theoretically come back and just do that at some point. Uh, last but not least, there is one thing, one game mechanic in its entirety that I have not done at all. Olivi, you remember her? You know, I used the lure rod for the glitch so I could make money. Did you know you could actually use it for fishing? <laughs> it's weird, I know, right? It's just, it's so weird that you could just do that, apparently. I can't believe it. You can even buy a fork? That's strange. All the way over here, in Heimrata, I was here very briefly, at one point in the game, to take a picture of a ghost or whatever. Uh, but I want to go back. It's, uh, the sun sets on our adventure over here. Uh, over here in this little corner of the world, with these pools of water, there is a very specific fish you can catch here, exclusively with the lure rod, and the fork. If you don't know what a lure rod is, essentially the goal is you don't use bait, instead you have like a lure, and you gotta like... move the lure as if it were the thing, so that a fish might be enticed. Because if you didn't know, you can move like the stick around and whatnot, and, and reel in and whatnot. I have no idea how to do this, if I'm being honest. I've seen various guides say various things, and frankly, I think you just kind of end up moving it around a bit, and eventually something might happen. It's weird. I don't... I don't get it, to be honest. I mean, I'm, I'm not a fisher, so, you know, I don't know. I'm just gonna kind of mess with this for a bit until something happens. Wow, okay, I actually caught something and I just was not ready. 
Uh, but I wasn't reeling in, like, at all that time, so I guess I just don't have to reel in. I, I don't know, I just... It seemed like the thing to do, you know? Well, I got something. Uh, will I keep it? Who knows? <laughs> Fishing is always scary when that meter goes the heck up, by the way. Uh, so you just gotta tap that X button real lightly and we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> did it. <laughs> Gosh, that was stressful. <laughs> it was like almost two minutes, I think. I, I don't know. Uh, so I had some experience here, let's say. I don't know. I've noticed that as long as you have, like, I don't think the pattern matters. I've seen a lot of posts online about, like, a very specific pattern that you have to take. I don't think a pattern matters. I think it's a steady rhythm more than anything. And like, you know, there's specific times where I think they're more common, possibly, but I... I think you can catch them at any time, for the most part. Because, like, I, I should probably check what time it is right now, actually, thinking about it. Uh, yeah, no, it's like the middle of the night already. And I think the, the time I see online a lot is like 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. I don't know how long I was fishing for, it might have been in that time frame, but like... I've noticed if you don't get anything for a while, it just doesn't ever seem to happen. Cause like I had at least one time where I was just kind of sitting here mashing the stick for a while and just nothing was happening and then I recast and that's when I caught the last fish that I had. So, you know, it's also what happened the first time when I missed it. Cause I just wasn't, I kind of forgot what button it was to start and you just pull it back. It's, it's been a while. Uh, since I've done a fish thing. I don't really need to catch another one. I only wanted to catch the one. Uh, for the record, these things are freaking massive. Um, if you want to wish, win a fishing contest, uh, just catch one of these. You'll probably win. Just with that. That's it. You, you don't need to do much. Uh, really rudely enough, uh, this thing has its own set of FP. Uh, compared to the other fishing rods, so all of your progress on that doesn't matter here. It's kind of why it's like, you know what, you can catch this at level one, just do it, and then probably never use the lure rod again, because, eh, I mean, unless you want to catch those, you can, you can spend your points to make it easier on the next time. So, you know, that's a thing. Let's probably put this dumb fishing rod away. What am I even doing? <laughs> Music's still playing, that's weird. Uh, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, that's all the trophies. Um, but, still not done. Next time, th this is it. It's, it's the end. I'll see you later and goodbye.